All right, everyone, let's have a look at our newest artifacts introduction in today's video and see whether or not it's actually worth it for you to invest into these artifacts because we all know the pain of farming for a whole artifact set by now. So our first set is the Nymph Stream. At two piece, it's giving you a hydro damage bonus of 15%. And for the four piece, guys, it's actually quite similar to our Polar Star, where basically whenever you do an action of normal charge plunging element skill or elemental burst hit the opponent you will gain one stack of mirrored nymph for eight seconds and each of the stacks will be giving you attack and hydro damage bonus it goes all the way up to three where you get 25% bonus attack and 15% hydro damage bonus so at maximum stacks you're technically seeing a 30% hydro damage bonus with 25% attack increase which is overall an artifact set that very focus on dealing damage now when it comes to usage the best candidate to use this artifact set at this point in time is gonna be child because he's a few character right now that can make the most use out of this artifacts at four piece another character who can make use of this pretty well is gonna be our ayato even though he's not fully skill off of attack percentage however he can still get benefits off of it especially with the hydro damage bonus it does give him an overall start boost to his E skill as well as his burst, making it a bit easier for you to run artifacts even when you're focusing on building him as a burst support. And there's also another character as well, if you're using an on-field Mona, she would also be able to make use of this artifacts. Now, on paper, this seems to be pretty decent stat boost from everything this information is saying. However, is it that much of a big difference? Because the biggest thing we have to look into now is a comparison with the current best hydro artifact sets which is the heart of depth because generally speaking when it comes to dps hydro set none of the current artifact sets can beat it right now and here's the thing guys to keep it short from all of the calculation that we have got nymph stream isn't gonna be a too much of a difference compared to when you're using heart of depth from all of the calculation generally you're gonna be seeing around you know six Six to seven ish damage increase and that is at maximum stacks whereas you can see it's not always a thing where you're able to keep up three stacks all the time so the difference in which this artifacts mix is quite variable and with that number you can quite easily make it up with really good substats from the past artifact sets that you have been farming where it would take you a lot of resins investment in order for you to actually get a good artifacts farm from our newest tool main our next set is the Vurukasha's glow where at two piece you're getting a 20% hp boost and at four piece basically your elemental skill and burst damage will be increased by 10% at the start and whenever this equipped character takes damage the aforementioned damage bonus is increased by 80% for five seconds with a maximum of five stacks now do keep in mind guys is that it is not an 80% pure damage increase but an 80% of the 10% before it or in other words it's an 8% increase each of the stacks therefore you're technically getting a maximum stacks of 50% elemental burst damage and elemental skill damage increase which is actually pretty nice so from the look of this the best candidate at this point in time as many have said is gonna be Dia because before we have been kind of expected to have a dedicated artifact set solely for her to try and actually mix up for such a bad kit and skill she has been having and yes this set would be pretty decent onto your dia however once again we're still gonna have to do a comparison between dia's current best artifact sets which is our emblem fate because at this point in time we've just got so many good artifacts out there already that I feel Hoyoverse would probably have a tough time pumping out other really good artifact sets in quite a while. And so in comparison, a 50% burst damage increase here is an equivalent of you having 200 energy recharge on the Emblem Fate set. So that's already pretty decent now that you don't really have to invest too much energy recharge onto your character. Alongside with not just burst damage increase, but you're also getting your E skill. The only tough things about this artifact set 
notice that it does require your equipped character to be a bit on field so that they can take damage in order to trigger the stacks before they can actually go off field which is why it fits perfectly for Dia at this point because she is probably the only character that would take damage off field for your team due to all of her skills so that she's a character that can easily trigger this 4p set other than that we haven't got an official chance to test it out but i feel that if you're up against enemies that do off field damage or even through shield like the wolf enemies for example you may still be able to trigger this set as well however that's just a very rare occasion and it's not very reliable however guys i still feel that many of the time the emblem fate set is still superior even for dia because it's already given you such a nice boost compared to how much energy recharge you stack onto your character and especially when many of the character once they burst every single rotation they once again do requires a lot of energy recharge so even when you're using the rurukasha set you're still gonna probably have to invest into energy recharge in order for your character to have burst every rotation to do damage especially in dia's case she's not generally doing much damage from her e skill so everything all comes down to her burst damage if you are focusing on her doing the damage plus emblem fate set has already been out for a long time now and it is a set that is used by many character which is still the reason why it is just recommended for you to focus on the emblem fate other character can make use of this set is gonna be a dps yelan which technically says that it is for a c6 yelan because c6 yelan is built for her to be on field so if you want to have your yelan go down that path you can do that also and another character which can be perfectly suited for this is going to be a dps nilu so i know that not many of us actually focus on having your nilu to be an on field character plus you're going to be having to invest into a whole new artifacts at this point but if you kind of want to switch up your nilu gameplay this artifacts can be decently well and so overall guys from all of this information do i think these new artifacts are worth it to farm and my honest opinion is that it is a no you shouldn't be really spending a lot of your resins trying to farm the four piece of this set because as we have discussed we already have so many other superior sets at this point plus they have been out for a very long time so i believe that you should have had a lot of chance to build and get decent artifact substats from those set but guys that's not to say that the new domain isn't really worthwhile because if we focus on a two piece set only guys then we're potentially getting both hydro damage bonus from the nymph dreams and a 20% hp bonus from the two piece furukasha which i believe that many characters out there would love to have two pieces of these artifact sets and currently before this domain was released if you were to want to have a 20% bonus hp on a two piece the only domain was tenacity and it runs along with the pale flame which most of us don't use anymore at this point so the new artifacts domain can be worthwhile for you to focus in if you are going for the two piece sets and so that would be my saying on the current new artifacts sets if you do have any other discovery or any other comments you would like to share feel free to leave it down in the comment as i would love to discuss more right there now guys if you are new to the channel i am actually doing a giveaway at 35,000 subs for my subscribers and we are not far from that goal currently and might be able to make it once nahida bans drop so that it helps you to pull for her so if you haven't already subscribed guys just do me a favor and click on the red subscribe button i really appreciate you guys sticking with me as always on the video guys and with that i wish you a super day and i will catch you on my next video video.